Good evening everybody, this is North Can Prepper. I wanted to make one of those vacuum separators or cyclone separators. In this case I used a Thien I guess design, T-H-I-E-N, and the baffle. So I'm not going to go into pretty much how it was made because you can find hundreds of these online. <coughs> but I wanted to go ahead and build one, a prototype, and test it. And um, this is basically it. I just used a screw to hold on the uh, cyclone part or the uh, hose adapter. Or the angle, the angle, there we go. <clears throat> and the black one's an adapter from a kit. Now, I was just test fitting things right here. I went ahead and I actually used a hot glue on it, but I'm gonna pull apart and use silicon now. And this is the baffle, which is the key to the whole thing. It's two inches on one side and one inch on the other side of the circle. So it spins around and it falls in that slot. And this is what my uh, my desk, or my shop back had in it previous to it. So we're going to go ahead and test it, let me go ahead and set it up here for you. I'm going to plug in the main the main uh, two and a half inch uh, vacuum hose, which is really what we need, you'll see why later. I put that in the center, and then it sucks in the one on the side, which I have a one inch, I think it's a one inch, maybe one and a half, adapter <clears throat> for the other hose that I had. I need to wait for the other hose to get here from Amazon. and. I'll finish up and I won't use the adapter on the second side of the intake. So I just took it out of there and I just plug it in, the adapter, so it's it's a little bit restrained there. Okay, powered up. I noticed it did go concave on the top, so I'll probably end up reinforcing that later on. I may also put a board across there and screw it together. <clears throat> but as you see, it, it works pretty well. Well, you, you see the suction here, you don't see it working well, but it's getting the fine particles. There's all types of stuff in my shop vac. I took it out and I, I cleaned my shop vac out and just dumped this big load on the floor in front of the vac, which you saw earlier. But uh, I cleaned it all out and it started sucking in. It's got a reduced airflow here because of the small hose at this time. And we came into this problem now. Basically, it lost suction because the big shavings got stuck in a bend in the hose. So, when you see me pull away, it's going to have to go up and lift it up. I had to actually pull the hose off at one point to clear the obstruction. I had to run it backwards, basically. But, <clears throat> this is what we got. This is my preliminary test. It's a fine sawdust that clogs up your, your shop back filter, from my understanding. So if we look in here real quick, a little bit of it came back through. Those are probably tolerance problems on my end. Um, and they're mostly big ones, so I don't really care. Uh, I can always blow it out with the uh, air compressor. But if we go over here and we look at the uh, what the collector actually got, you'll see it got the, the fine particles as well, which is a big one, big problem I was worried about. Uh, if we went in slower, it probably wouldn't have a problem, but I just stuck to some big pile, so. That might be why it went through. Uh, maybe I'll lift the intake up a little bit higher. I believe the design calls for three inches. I think I'm gonna get two. But you know. So that's it, man. That's it. It works. I recommend it. You know, have a great day, everybody. I'll finish up later.